This is an, an unexpected, unplanned video. I am currently in a Lada. I don't know what kind of generation Lada this is, but we are in a Lada Samara right now. Some old school, old Soviet shit. We're going on an adventure. We're going on an off-road adventure. Well, it's not an off-road, but it's barely a road adventure. With a Lada. This is wild. No power steering, no nothing. quite interesting so we're currently uh, we're trying to get up there on that hill there is a Oi, yeah. hello dog oh. yes yeah, as you can see the road is uh, questionable we're trying to get up the hill oh my god this is a hell of a road so yes we are going off-roading in a lot of Samara uh, god damn This is one hell of an experience. Oh my god, yo. The steering is somehow vague yet quite heavy. But I guess that comes from the fact that there's no power steering. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> That's quite casual, yes. Oh my god. This is one hell of a road. One hell of a hell of a road, dude. Giant rock in the middle. Yep. We're trying to get to a, a holy place. Jesus H. Christ, you know, our, our Savior, Lord and Savior Jesus. And there's also some kind of military apparatus there as well. So, uh, yeah, this is quite an adventure. God damn, dude. How does this happen to... How does this road disintegrate like this? I don't understand. Oh my god. Oh my god, how do you even navigate this? Out here in the Lada, I feel very Soviet. So you... What is this place? Where are we? It appears we have made it up the hill. This is the beast we just used. Look at this. Samara 1500S. Oh my, it's the S version. It's quite quick, obviously. Look at this thing, man. Look at where we are. This is... <laughs> This looks like some kind of, this is quite out of pocket, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't particularly look very Bulgarian. I mean, it's funny because like right over there, that's Greece. So uh, yeah, this bad, this bad girl or boy, I don't know, it's Samara. So it is a bad girl. Took us up the hill, no problem. <laughs> big review guy, okay, this is a big review. Me and the Samara out here in the, in the, in the, in the fucking, in the hills. So since we're making this a whole video with the Lada, where where will the Lada take us on this Lada adventure? We're going to go and see what that is. It looks shady. It might be a wrong turn movie. We're getting closer, but we just found like random, random staircase. <laughs> what is this? Like, why is there a land, random staircase here? A lot of rubble as well. Quite spooky. You can see like evidence of existing buildings and even more staircases over there there's a giant rock here man-made rock giant concrete rock lacks a human corpse that is quite edgy so these are uh old military buildings back from the good old soviet communist bulgarian days when uh well this place was a military when well, this place was an important military location since that over there is Greece and as we all know Greece and Bulgaria have been in a few conflicts through their history so uh, you know they, they they've had this place ready for uh, ready to rumble with the Greeks the evil democratic Greeks versus the lovely not evil communist Bulgarians 
it looks like there might be a ton of well bad things to breed in there uh, I don't think we're gonna go in I'd like to avoid dying you can see like a lot of uh, evidence of humanity here you've got then you've got a concrete foundation over there you got some kind of asphalt ish road here we, you've got one two three sets of stairs that building over there obviously the other building is right over there you've got the ladder chilling over there no problem more buildings over there there's evidence of life that used to be here so this apparently used to be some kind of lake uh, it's hard to tell on camera but you can see this side and this side are uh, obvious banks and that side is a not so obvious bank but there's a lot of sand there almost like a beach but obviously it's quite dried out now it is currently the middle of October so uh, you can see how hot it looks how dry everything is it, it, it genuinely is quite dry and hot uh, it's currently it's currently around 25 degrees I am in complete E46 I'm in complete summer drip right now and I am oh man uh, the, the Sun is beating on me there is an old refrigerator you can see the buildings that we were just at and there is a pillbox right on top and with another building maybe another pillbox right on top of the hill seems like a very nice position to observe the enemy Greeks because right just right there that is a quite picturesque looking probably Greek village this is the building on the hill you can see you get a proper 360 degree view on absolutely everything that right there is deep deep Greece so I would imagine by the looks of this building obviously not a particularly defensive building like the pillboxes I would imagine that this was some kind of radio tower or something along those lines you can see like the the massive overview of the eventual enemies that would eventually maybe come from Greece this looks like one hell of a homemade ladder to go on top so I'm guessing the locals like to come here and do stuff it's obviously not OEM look at it like they've that has welding marks left on it so this is quite quite interesting who would that's a lot of effort to go for just the spots but I guess you know if you like this place it's quite it's quite cool layer more remnants of well civilization there are here in the sticks still there's one there's something there as well we, we've not seen that it looks like a it actually does kind of look like a pillbox but I don't, I'm not too sure we have found this I mean it's not we have not found this this we knew it is visible this is not something I've found just now uh, this holy place look at it uh, it's, it's obviously it's obviously obviously very obviously quite new it's uh, a renovated thing or not even renovated probably just newly built Jesus and all that I actually heard the 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 bell this morning this is the view this is the road you can see the road that is the road we actually take took with the with the lotta all of that we just walked through here down there you can see the road that is the exact road we well went off-roading we found the pillbox not the singular pillbox but we found a pillbox I don't know if we can get to it because it's quite off-roady here and I'm not I'm not particularly suited right now for off-roading there's also a grave over there but makes sense next to the holy place look at how the pillbox is just overlooking it's just a great vantage point and I just it's quite interesting how it's just sitting here very very many years after the fall of communism in Bulgaria and just sitting here chilling I don't think we're gonna go there today because the grass is still tall and it's still full of life lots and lots of little things just scurrying about and uh, 
obviously as I just showed I am not well dressed for off-roading manual off-roading and there's still you know snakes and snakes and such things about uh, we're probably going to come back at some point to explore the bases when the everything is dead around here and we're the only thing alive this is a long shot but if I zoom in that thing that it's currently quite reflective that is the BMW <laughs> that is my car just sparked there so you can see why I have a great vantage point to this place and the pillbox and why I wanted to check them out <sighs> honestly this feels like I'm playing Daisy about to go to Northwest Airfield to get some good loot or die Okay, it's time to get going home, off-roading again with the Lada, this time downhill which is a bit scarier as I don't know how, I don't know how much the brakes work, so we're going to keep it slow, it's quite broken the road here, oh lord, oh lord, oh, I wouldn't particularly call the Lada uh, equipped for off-roading but it's handling this almost road very nicely it's not even that uncomfortable in here the suspension and the uh, the soft tires are absorbing the off-road uh, the lack of road very nicely although the, the, the brakes slightly softened up just now which is not optimal but we're almost down. We just slightly slid on the rocks, the loose rocks. That damn is very off-roady. Yeah, this is hell. Oh, there's a vehicle coming, this is interesting. Uh, another ladder coming, we just turned off. Oh, thank you, bro. There was another ladder coming and now we are deep in the off-road. But the ladder is gone. Apparently this is very ladder certified, this road. Since we are uh, the second ladder on it. It gets quite brutal here, quite, quite brutal. The amount of disintegration of the road is quite spectacular. We're going through a shady route. Look at how overgrown this place is. Buildings left and right, this is a building obviously. This is quite the high building. It's quite a large building. There's a gulch in front of us. That's cool. Probably housing for the uh, for the soldiers or the the, the sheep dog. The the shepherd dog is like, hey, you fuck off. That's what we're doing, my man. This is quite the ordeal. This car does not have the most optimal uh, mirrors, so uh, 
I'm doing an old school, just looking back like it's GTA. The dog is still like going after us, escorting us away from the from the livestock. Speed! Give me speed! Quite a lot of play in the, co the column, the steering rack, the steering column. I don't even know, man. So, yes, thank you for coming along with me, with us on this uh, adventure. This Lada inspired, Lada sponsored adventure. <laughs>